All right, hey, Gemini, so we're doing a look at your crush, okay? So the one that you are crushing on. I'm changing the tables around. Normally, I do a read um, about who has got their eyes on you. Maybe that'll be the next read. But today, we're going to talk about the one that you are crushing on, okay? So you're going to know this is your read by what you wish you could tell them and what you have accepted from them as far as past behavior. So that's what we're getting into first. All right, what you wish you could tell this person. Look at that, already coming out with the Empress energy. Um, we have the King of Swords coming through, the Eight of Cups, and we have the Two of Cups. So this right here, it could be that you guys are dealing with some sort of a small or slight separation, uh, some sort of pulling away, drifting away a little bit. I say that because we have the Eight of Cups. Usually I would look at this as, um, you know, a, a, a connection coming back in. So it could be that this is on its way back. It could just be that you wish that you could um, tell this person, I want to see you. I want to talk to you. I want to communicate. Uh, you're a soulmate. You know, you're, you know, um, a really important part of my life right here with this Empress energy. Um, it's like you want to tell them so much about this soul level connection that you feel. Um, you know, I declare like the, the truth, the honest and, and just the utmost feelings, you know, this positive energy is just coming through. You want to say so much to them. All right. Um, if this is not a disconnected read, I just feel like, you know, um, it's really your desires to once you come in, talk, communicate, and just really get your feelings out there when it comes to this person, like so much feelings, right? I feel so much for you. Uh, you know, it's big energy. I love it. Um, I definitely feel like you, you are, rep you see this person as a represented, um, um, soul bond, soul, soulmate, soul connection, definitely coming through here. So let's see what kind of behavior you have accepted from this person. What kind of behavior you have accepted from them? What do we got? All right. So we have the death card coming through. So we have the seven of pentacles and death card. So I feel like you've probably been in and out with this person more than once. Okay. Um, in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm going to say that more than once. Okay. We have the uh, three of wands also showing up right here. So the, the will of fortune card um, is going to be that the twist and turns that come along with this connection. Okay. I feel like the three of wands is, um, you know, uh, this person coming back into your life. Every time they leave, you know, when it comes back. When they come back, you know, like they're coming back, you know that they're coming back, um, you know, to heal, to grow, to repair. You also got the death card coming through, which is transformations, it's changes. This right here would tell me that this is stop and go energy. Okay, but I really feel like um, you guys have this um, awareness of this connection. Um, you know that I, I really feel for whoever is here, you know, that uh, quite possibly and this might not resonate with everybody, everyone, but quite possibly the disconnections, um, they do bring healing to a certain degree. So every time you guys have a disconnection with your crush, um, you know, it's a time to uh, refocus, recenter, um, tune into ourselves, you know, and, and then kind of put ourselves in check. What do I need to heal about this? What is what, you know, what am I, what do I think I'm missing? Okay. That's what I'm kind of seeing with this energy. So I'm going to pull these cards up. And we're going to see who this person is. All right. So if this is not resonating up to this point, you guys check the moon rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. Um, I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy, you guys. Um, follow me on Facebook over there. I've been doing my chakra readings, my soul transmissions readings, um, my live readings. Um, I started doing um, spell crafting um, uh, recipes. So I, I hope to see you guys over there just as well. All right. But let's let's see who this person is. Who is the person on your mind? Gemini. Who do we got coming through? Who is on your mind? All right. So we have Cancer Energy coming through with that Chariot card. All right. We have the Moon card. Um, I call it, I call it Cancer, but some people would take that as a Pisces, Cancer Pisces. And then we got some Sagittarius um, coming through with Judgment. And then we have this um, Aquarius card right here with the Seven of Swords. Okay. Definitely somebody from the past. <clears throat> I kind of feel like this person does come with some secrets, all right? Um, and and the, I'm not even at the part where I was going to pull to see what it is they show you. I'm saying secrets because the moon card is coming through here with the seven of swords. This person's definitely been through a lot, okay, that you do know of. It could be that, you know, they haven't told you the whole um, the whole parts of, of um, you know, 
why they come in and out, you know, why um, it's stop and go. And I feel like it's more about probably woundings, um, holding on to the past, that they are trying to change, grow, release the past. I have a feeling that you guys could be dealing with somebody that may have came out of a connection that they know that there's still some parts of them that need to heal. So maybe they don't trust themselves fully engaging in a connection right now. I feel like you're going to be able to sense that with this person, if not even have spoken to this person about it. Okay. I actually don't feel any negative energy coming off this, this person. <clears throat> you know, um, the chariot card is a card of success. It's a card of uh, resilience. It's a card of winning, you know. Um, I just kind of see whatever is um, happening with this person. They're definitely overcoming it and, and doing everything they can to, you know, remove obstacles and blockages when it comes to themselves. Okay. So let's see what it is this person actually shows you as far as their behavior and interactions. What do they show you? <clears throat> What does this person show you? We got the Knight of Cups coming through. So that's a card of, uh, that's sweet. It's sincere energy, you know. What they show you, and look at that. The uh, It's like this. All right. You guys, uh, so it might be that there is some perception of selfishness. Now, I don't know if you are you gauge that or if they gauge it within themselves, okay? What they show you is, um, it's a card of holding space too, but it's almost like I know I got to take care of myself before I can take care of anyone else, Okay. Um, they've shown you like friendship, you know, um, companionship. Um, you know, I feel like this person has shown you a great deal of positive energy. Um, we have the eight of cups, you know, the coming and going again, the knight of cups over here. Um, he does come with an empty cup. So it could be that this person is explicitly had said, you know, I don't have anything to offer right now. Um, you know, I'm trying to rebuild and, and repair, you know, everything, um, you know, from my past. Um, but the Knight of Cups is also quite the charmer. So it's like they know how to say and do and and get what they want when it comes to you because um, I feel like that's, I feel like it's a, it's the, it, they it enamor you to a certain degree. That's a very, very charming and charismatic, char charismatic energy, you know, that that Knight of Cups carries. Um, it's playful, it's light, it's, it's attractiveness. Um, so it's like they put themselves together real well when it comes to you. All right. But again, I just feel like this person saying I'm not ready. So let's see what it is you don't see when it comes to this person. What you don't see. <clears throat> All right. So we have um, this person's definitely hurt. Okay. They have been hurt. And, it, and if you're like, yeah, I already know that. I, no, I'm telling you that their wounds, they run really deep, okay? This person could have been potentially, and as I'm talking about this past dynamic, a past relationship, um, it's like that whatever happened, I don't feel like this person saw it coming. So if they, I'll tell you this, they're lying if they said, I broke up with them and I'm over it. I'm getting over it, okay? Um, I feel like they are trying to move past it, but I feel like it's stuck in, it's, it's still stuck within them. You know, the soul, the, the first card is like a soulmate card, right? It's almost like this person saying, I thought that that was the one, but I guess it wasn't, you know, they're not going to tell you that, especially if they're looking at you as a potential future partner. Okay. But they are really in their head about something and I can't help but feel like it is a romantic situation. All right. It doesn't mean they're all ruined. It doesn't mean they're not going to come through for you and show up for you in, in the ways that you deserve. Uh, but it's like this single person's card right here. It's like, I'm not ready to be in a relationship because I have just gone through something that was... Even if it was a year ago, sometimes it takes people a long time to get over shit, right? And I just kind of feel like they're still holding on to it, even if they are giving you this perception that they've moved on. All right. So let's just see how they feel about you. How do they see you? How do they see you? Like you are, you're something, you're something wonderful. All right. I'm going to say that. I say that because... We have the um, Wheel of Fortune card coming through. So unexpected. Unexpected, though, in a good way, because we know that the Wheel of Fortune is a sudden turn of events, but it leads us in a positive direction, but very, very unexpected. So this person does feel quite stuck about you, about the connection, but they do know, all right, that it's definitely a soul bond. Okay, so if you're feeling that energy, just know that this person is to what uh, context? We don't know yet. He doesn't know yet. She doesn't know yet. Okay. Um, you got the four of wands or the four of swords, excuse me, also showing up. So how they feel about you, you do bring a sense of relaxation and, and, and harmony, but they're very, very stuck with you because it's like, I don't want to lose you, but I know I got to, I know that there's some things I got to take care of first within my mind, body, soul, you know, my feelings. Like, um, I feel like you're actually dealing with somebody pretty mature, you guys, um, which we don't see that a lot. I, you know, you want to let them take care of themselves so that they can give you the best of them, right? 
So let's just see if they can see a long-term dynamic with you. Do they see a long-term... Um, do they see a long-term connection with you? All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a manifestation card, right? The Page of Pentacles reference a manifestation um, of future opportunities. It's also a reflection of the past, the past mistakes, the past procrastinations, the failures, the wounding, the lack of progress, okay? I feel like once this um, person kind of goes within and they are able to channel out the negative aspects of what they might still be holding on to, they actually can see a full potential of, of moving forward with you. I love that this card comes through because it really shows me for how I energetically connect to the card. It shows me that, that that people, when this card shows up, they are really trying to be proactive in learning to move past what doesn't work. Okay. The four of cups comes in. You guys know that's all about an opportunity to grow and to become more. Okay. We have the um, queen of pentacles coming through. That is an investment Okay, so does this person see long-term potential with you? Yes, they've already seen it. They've already probably started researching why they feel so deeply towards you. Even if it's unexpressed energy and you're sitting over here confused, I tell you, they feel the same way. They see you as a wise investment, okay? Not only as a, as a solid one, but a wise one. One that they could actually see a lot of a potential material abundance when it comes to this, this waking life that we're in. I love it. Okay, this right here is an investment. They can actually see themselves investing into you, but they're also the type of person that's not going to make you wait around. All right, so let's see if they're going to come speak up in the next month or two. Are they going to speak up in the next month or two? Look at this, you guys. You got your star card showing up right there, which is all about your wish coming true. You got your ten of swords. Look at that, the five of wands showing up in reverse and the king of swords, uh, you know, activating that throat chakra. So I do feel like this person's going to come forward and be more expressive on how they feel. It's like this. Look at they're closing out a chapter that they have been really conflicted with, really confused over. All right. And what happens from there is this king of, 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 of swords that, you know, they're going to come talk to you. All right. About where they can see things going and growing with you. All right. So hang in there and be patient, especially if you guys feel that this is something big. Um, and, and you feel that it's going to be, um, or have the potential to be very rewarding, right? So initials coming through for this one, we have U M Y H and I'm going to pull a couple of different letters cause we got those duplicates. Okay. Let's see. What do we got? We have AJ. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Gemini, take care.